Uh, guys, it's your boy Uch, and we are here, we are now, we are back again, once again, of course, with a quick update. Now, I don't want to be here too long, because what we're talking about, of course, is actually not even that new. It's actually something that we have already seen. If you're definitely following Twitter and a lot of the news updates that you might find on various other um, news and information resource type of sites and accounts, okay? So, we're going to be talking about what's been going down with the manga of Dragon Ball Super. And I know that a lot of this news might get lost because, you know, the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie is... That that news is basically overshadowing just about anything, okay? Now, I'm going to be referencing my man Herms. You guys might know this guy as Todd Blankenship, but everyone knows him as Herms. He's definitely one of, I would think, one of the, like... Uh, community leaders especially since you know this dude has he is he is one of the go-to's for uh translating just about everything that comes our way uh and he does it you know he and he's a really nice guy every time i tweet at him he always answers whenever he has a chance so shout out to herms if you're checking this video out huge shout out to you and i appreciate all the work that you have done now here we are. We're gonna. We're obviously here to talk about the character corrections that have been going on. But first, I do want to quickly go over the message that Toyotaro um, had put out prior to this update uh, coming out. First, okay. So here we go. So Toyotaro says, We finally entered a new chapter. It's a completely new work that's not in the anime or anywhere else. Unlike Jacko, this Maris guy in the first chapter is a genuine elite member of the Galactic Patrol. Just how strong is he really? Why has he come to Earth? And who's this criminal that says he's escaped? With the Galactic Patrol prisoner arc, I'm teaming up with Toriyama Sensei and getting a lot of praise as I make it. I'm hoping to make it an enjoyable story that will thrill you all, so please look forward to it. And of course, that is obviously from direct translation off of Herm's Twitter. You can definitely follow him at Herm's98 if you guys want to follow his updates as they come out live. That's what I do, all right? And if you want, you'll definitely see if you follow the tweet, you'll definitely see some more notes that he left down here um, specifying that he was surprised and unsure as to how or why Toyotaro was getting praise for what he's done with this new arc so far because obviously we outside of of seeing maris basically handle goku and vegeta quite simply and pretty much kidnapping them alongside with you know majin buu um we we haven't really you know seen or you know that we don't know nothing like we just we just know so we're, we're, he's kind of like you know he's almost like it almost seems like he's lost for words as to how or what or who is actually giving him this praise is it toriyama is it um the v jump heads like the higher ups like it, it's un, it, he's unsure but that's you know he, he does do some little more of a of translation notes down here if you guys want to follow that for yourselves so i bring up the toyotaro message um, simply because I figured it would be important to talk about um, before transitioning into what we are here to update you guys on, and that is obviously the involvement in Akira Toriyama. So I kind of want to brainstorm with you guys a little bit on exactly what Akira Toriyama could be here for, because as we already know, Toriyama has basically set out the foundation, the blueprint, if you will, for the stories that are going to be taking place within dragon ball super in both well you would we would all can assume that once the anime does come back we'll probably uh, there's a high chance of seeing this arc right now getting adapted into the anime i don't i mean i don't see why not and of course as you know the blueprint states he basically you know he says like okay like this as long as these certain checkpoints are met then anything not really anything but like you know you guys can like the creators that with the powers that be can you know do little nicks and knacks that might not appear in either version so for example in the dragon ball super manga we see super saiyan uh god vichita whereas we only just started seeing him animated within the broly movie but before that we did not see super saiyan god vichita in the anime whatsoever so now going into the actual corrections and and what his involvement is so far so here we go here's a picture of jiren now the one in the top right now if you guys are wondering this is also taken from uh 
Herms' Twitter with his translation notes because, of course, this does come from um, the latest Volume 8 that I guess just recently dropped in, uh, uh, like in Japan. And again, this is Toriyama's Corrections, Fixing Jiren. So on the top left, that is... Uh, Toyotaro's and on the bottom right that is Toriyama's corrections minor corrections but nonetheless this is basically Toriyama saying yo that's not how you do things you have to make this man leg like, skinnier because the the on current joke that's going on right now is my man Jiren skips leg day but let's be real now Jiren skips every day he don't train like that he don't need to be in the gym this man just sits there and squats or not even t- he pops a squat and he- he's chilling and he'll just body anybody that tries to come at him just with his aura alone like, like let's not forget that Jiren is busted okay he's-, he's pretty od but you know like that is you know the simple minor corrections make a big difference i suppose and especially since you know this is this is toriyama's work so i mean there is no wrong if it's coming from him i guess right well then again you know the man has been known to make plenty of mistakes in the past and forget things, but I mean that's not here nor there. We're not talking about that right now. We're just talking about the simple fact that right now his involvement seems to just be some maybe some model corrections, some character corrections. But I'm curious as to as to as to see and know if Akira is going to be a little bit more involved, especially on the storytelling. Um, and, and if and if the real reason why he's here in the first place is to kind of remedy all of the heat that Toyotaro had might have received. Um, because I know that the fans have been very vocal on Twitter and probably on a lot of people's YouTube video comments and, you know, saying that, you know, accusing Toro Taro of being very lazy and like, you know, certain things that we could have expected to see in the manga, uh, did not happen. And, you know, he took things in a different direction and things felt a little bit more on the rush side of things. So I, I can understand where a lot of people, the people's gripes, um, with Toyo Taro were with and and who knows like maybe like the feedback did get back to the v jump heads and eventually get get, uh you know got back to toyotaro who knows if even akira toriyama even knew about any of the heat but i'm trying to figure out i wonder if that's actually what it is now this is not me talking fact this is actually me just speculating trying to make sense of all of this i do i don't think this is a bad thing that akira is actually taking more of a of, of an overseeing like supervisional role within his own stuff because again the man put in his time he's trying to re- enjoy retirement but of, of, of course clearly he still you know gets his hands dirty a little bit when he has to okay so I think that's pretty admirable if you don't you know if you ask me um, but I, I do want to I, I am kind of curious to see if you know if Akira is actually there just to make sure that Toyotaro doesn't you know get too lazy or um, you know so to speak or any of the of the claims or accusations that he was bestowed upon himself but that's pretty much it um i I, those are the thoughts that i'm having i do wonder on on those things but i I do want to know what you guys think let's like let you know let's brainstorm what you guys might think um about akira's you know involvement is this a good thing is this a bad thing i think it's a good thing to be honest you know I, i honestly i really do feel like he is here for the sole purpose of trying to just make sure that the manga is as just as fire as the anime has been so of course, drop your comments, drop the like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and the notification bell because you know how YouTube is, all right? And and make sure to hit me up on Twitter. Let me know what you guys thought about it on the Discord, especially on the Discord. If you want to see more content like this and take this channel further beyond, then definitely be, consider becoming a patron today. And that is it, guys. Have yourselves a good one. Take care of yourselves. May the power protect you, and I'll see y'all next time.